so today I'm gonna see if I can uh, switch my battery plug on this thing because I have two batteries right here which are the original ones just plug them in there and this one but uh, I didn't use it for a while so they lost their charge and they won't charge up again and they're kind of expensive you're gonna get a replacement for them and I don't even know if they have the original ones so what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to put a XT60 connector here and uh, use one of my regular batteries. So these are the kind of batteries that I'm going to be replacing them with, the XT60 connection. And actually these are a lot uh, easier to charge, they charge faster than these, these will stay forever. So just to show you the weight difference between the 1300 milliamp hours is uh, 103 and the original ones which are only uh, 1200 milliamps uh, these are 114 so actually these ones are heavier and they're smaller so to get this thing ready just take off these two little screws that go right here and then just pop this open and slide it forward like that so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to try to cut this off uh, most of the plastic off that way I can uh, have them longer leads for this thing to come out further out I forgot to tell you a quick tip to taking these um, star screws off, I just used a little Phillips screwdriver. I was looking at this and I'm thinking about possibly cutting them and extending the cables. I could have also taken this apart and uh, unsoldered them from there, but I didn't want to do that. And I was going to use uh, some of the shrink tubing, but uh, I don't have very much space. So I'm going to see what I can do about that, and meanwhile I'll get this ready to solder onto that. Usually the negative is on the rounded side. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
I can wipe that stuff off. Uh, this is just alcohol. And I would over tighten those. They were loose when uh, I first opened them and they were fine, so I'm just going to leave them like that. Okay, so I charged the battery and I laminated the front while I was waiting. And let's see if this sucker will work. I also cleaned all the sensors because they were kind of dusty. turned out pretty well I think and in case you were wondering what they look like inside so I just popped it off of there just some glue hmm 